Welcome you back. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about the data communications, characteristics of the data communications, comparisons of data communications and directions of data flow. In the today's part, we are going to learn about the second part of this prerequisite and that is nothing but what is network and the data communication network criteria that is performance, reliability and security. The, at the end of this sessions, so what should be the objective? At the end of this sessions, we should be able to find out criteria of network communications or what are the criteria requirements for the network communications. We should be able to explain it properly. So let's begin with the first part that is what is the network. So network is nothing but what we can say that it is a set of devices or nodes connected by the communication links. Any two computers can be connected to each other is called as nodes, a single node, a single computer is called as a single node. Any other devices can be treated as a node means we can say that computer, printer or any other device capable of sending and receiving the data is called as the node. To be considered effective and efficient, the network must meet the number of criteria. So the first criteria is the performance, second criteria is the reliability and the third one is the security. So let's discuss one by one. So what is the performance? Performance of the network when we can say that it is we we are familiar normally we when we use the word performance rating, performance criteria. So performance is high or not, performance is above our average. Similarly, we have to find out how our network works and what is the performance of this. So this if indicate the meter indicate that here it is shows that high performance, it's performing very well. Means what? Here we can say that the performance can be measured in many ways. It may be including transient time and response times. Transient time means what? It is the amount of the time required for the message to travel from one device to another device. So uh, normally we can say that suppose a person traveling from Nasik to Mumbai. So as an average we can say that 3 to 4 hours he must be re required. So this will be treated as a transit time. If a person taking more than that it will be poor performance. So within that time period if the signal is reached from source to destination it is called as a transit times. The response times is the elapsed time between an inquiry and the response. If someone asks, can you solve my difficulty and if you are able to solve within minutes or seconds, then yes, it has uh, no time has taken. But similarly, if you ask some difficulty and that difficulty gets solved after a week, then that is not the good response. So response time is the elapsed times between the inquiry and the response. As soon as inquiry occurs and immediately the response for that. Suppose I will ask you the questions and you are ready to answer immediately. That, that, that we call as a good response. The performance of the network depends on the number of factors that including how many number of users are there in the network. So because larger will be the user, poor will be the performance of the network. Here it is second part is transmission medium. Which transmission medium we are using? whether it is copper wire, whether it is coaxial cable, whether it is fiber optic cables and so on. So what type of the cable we are using based on that the type of performance of the network depends on the transmission lines. The third important one is the capability of the connected hardware and the software and the efficiency of that software. So what type of the hardware we are using and what type of the software we are using based on that the network performance can be defined. You can say that uh, in related to this you observe that the traffic on the road, heavy traffic is there. So definitely it will take a long time to reach to the destination from the source to destination. So we can say that performance is very poor in that case. So having the large number of concurrent users can slow the response times of the network not designed to coordinate heavy traffic load. Here it is also if you observe this picture the road is we observed it is wrong but here it is the traffic very heavy and hence the performance is poor. So based on that the requirement the network should be defined. Similarly 
we can say that uh, the design of the network is based on the assessment of the average number of users that will be communicating at any one time. Here it is, if you observe that the road is defined, low traffic is there, so vehicle can move with the higher speed. This is for the understanding purpose only in real time examples. We can correlate this. On the road, no traffic is there. In both the cases, we can say that yes. So they are designed to handle the traffic. So large, with the heavy speed, large speed, the vehicles can move and reach to the destination in the fastest time period. Observe this picture, here it is the heavy traffic is there because of that uh, the two vehicles, the total traffic is jammed now. So in the peak load period, however, the actual number of users can exceed the average and thereby decrease the performance during the evening or during the traffic time periods. Here it is, if you observe, the two vehicles are in between that and because of that total traffic is jammed. The same happens in our computer networking also. Here it is, if the large number of users, heavy traffic is exceeds or the traffic exceeds, then the performance of the network decreases. Similarly, we can say that another point, the same pictures I have taken as heavy traffic and then the uh, traffic jam. So depends upon what type of the hardware we are using. So here it is, uh, depends on the performance or the hardware response, network response, loading is measured on its performance, how the network responds to the loading, measuring of its performance. If the roads are wide, then definitely, or the, if proper arrangement is there to cross the road, then definitely there should not be a jam. Similarly, here it is to handle such type of the traffic, if the larger will be the road, uh, border will be the broader will be the rule definitely we can say that the response of the network will be the better so performance depends on that see the picture here it is larger uh, bandwidth and the traffic move easily similarly if the road condition is not good then in that case the performance also decreases so here we can say that depends upon the type of transmission medium. Here it is the transmission medium is very good, whereas here it is the transmission medium is very bad. Based on that, the speed and which the data travels through the connections, the decreases. So this is also defined the performance of the network. Then today's networks are moving to the faster and faster transmission, such as nowadays what we are using, fiber optic communications or fiber optic cable we are using that carries the data at larger speed. So see the vehicles nowadays as compared to previous roads are also that is transmission medium is also prepared accordingly. Uh, now the people, people will prefer the aeroplane traffic or here it is also the broad separate express highways to carry a large traffic and hence the speed of the light imposes upon the data rate. So here, I am coordinating this with the fiber optic carries the large data. Here it is also the roads. You know, th these examples are for your understanding purpose only. So we can say that on the road, uh, the size of the road is larger. Definitely in the aeroplane, the traffic is less. Definitely you can reach the fastly. The speed is increased. So we can say that here it is also in our case, the light which fiber optic carries, the speed increases and hence we can say that performance increases. Uh, it also depends upon the type of hardware. So we can say that type of hardware, I, here I am comparing this with the heavy vehicles. The type of hardware inculcated with the network affect both the speed and the capacity. Here it is the carries the larger speed, observe it the carries the larger load but what should be the speed of that that uh, based on that so only not only the size is important but that capacity carrying the capacity is also uh, important as well as that also define the speed here you can see that 
higher the speed computer with the greater storage capacity provides better performance for the computer inside how we can say that higher speed or the greater storage capacity memory set should be larger larger will be the memory in our uh, day to day uh, use our we can say that uh, we are using the mobile so larger will be the memory more space will be the available and the performance of the processor increases here it is also few examples the transmission media uh, as compared to these two vehicles you can see the bullet train uh, are there so metro trains so uh, then cargo airplanes these are used to increase the speed so here the speed as well as they carry the larger capacity also so we from this we have to learn that higher speed computer systems with the greater storage capacity provide better performance then performance is also important part related with the software only hardware is not sufficient the software is also important the software used to process the data at the sender and the receiver intermediate mode is also affect the network performance moving the message from node to node through the network requires processing to transform the raw data that is to signal must be transmittable route of the signals to the proper destinations to ensure error free delivery and to recast the signals into the form to receive can be users so software that provides these services affect both the speed and the reliability of the network link we design the software can speed so well designed software can speed the process and make the transmission more efficient and hence we can say that performance increases now second is the reliability so we can say that reliable yes someone can rely on you so it is a how it will be reliable see the picture show that for understanding but all these pictures are for your understanding purpose the person he is so he, he is giving his hands because he trust on him he rely on him in this case also if you can say that uh, you might have seen this picture in the circus this guy is totally rely on him she, she has the confident yes i can trust on him and uh, definitely she will not fall down so that indicates the reliability in our case also the computer network here it is additions of accuracy of the delivery of the network reliability is the measure frequency of failure the time it takes from the failure and the network robustness in the catastrophe so we can say that here if any product you purchase from the market so that reliable if it is reliable definitely failure will be the less and if the failure occurs immediately uh, most of the cases in the electronics equipment you might have observed that they provide you the warranty or some cases guarantee also uh, so it depends on so here that assurance that gives you the assurance that frequency of failure is less and the time it takes to repair that is also less and then so a uh, network is the robust in case of catastrophe so in case of any natural calamity occurs network should not be fail so in all the cases if all is are satisfied then we can say that it is the reliable network so uh, i'll uh, give the example that uh, take this unbranded phone and this is what we can say that apple phone and if the cost if the cost of the both the phones are the same then what you will prefer which one you will purchase definitely apple because reliability trusted because after so many years of use we came to know that yes it is tested well equipped this is unbranded or oh, no trust though we can say that ready to sacrifice in case of cost then yes you can say that yes it is reliable trusted brand and hence we can say that second important part in this case how it is trusted because the frequency of the failures in our case all the networks fails occur definitely it is the network technical fails failure may occurs but if the network that fails often however is the little value of the user how it can be fastly recover is the important part so failure not the important recovery is the important so recovery time of the network after failure is the important how long does it takes to restore the service 
if you purchase some uh, same examples mobile from the market and go to the service center and they provide you the service immediately so frequency rarely occurs after occurring suppose if though we can say that though it is apple phone or though it is samsung phone if the problem occurs and if you get the good service then you can say that yes recovery time of the network failure if network fails and recovered immediately or in a very less time then that will be treated as good network and hence we can say that network is said to be reliable so the network recovers quickly is the more useful than that does not catastrophe the network must be protected from catastrophic events such as fire earthquake theft the protection against unforeseen damage is the reliable systems to back up network softwares in most of the organizations now uh, a, a a server backup is always there and with the different places is so that if any problem occurs with the one server the data is automatically backup is available and there is no loss of the data and hence we can say that yes it is a reliable network the third part is security i had provided you some pictures so that gives you the idea here it is the someone is continuously watching you the network must be properly watched so secured is there here it is the password protected so both the pictures you can show that yes it provides the security when we uh, access the network http and https s provides the security here it is also if someone hack your password then okay that is not trusted so how much is the uh, network and that security is there based on that we can say that network the important parameter is the security network security issues include protecting data from unauthorized access and viruses unauthorized access from the network to be useful sensitive data must be protected from unauthorized access so protections can be accomplished by the number of levels it may be at the lowest level the user identification scores and the passwords here what we can say that certain codes four digit codes are used whereas in case of the higher level the encryption technique is it encryption and decryptions in this mechanism data are systematically altered in a such a way that if an authorized users intercept them they will be unintelligible means they cannot hack so during the uh, you might have observed these terms is in the your mobile also uh, encrypted data or decrypted data uh, in so many cases if you change the mobile uh, the security uh, um same also you observe that uh, he or you read the message that security code is this and this and he changed this so what this indicate that it is encrypted format it gives the authentication so whatever your data you are transmitting that data when it is in the medium it will be change the code it will be unreadable format it an authenticate and hence we can say that for the higher level encryption techniques are used securities are used so that prevent it from the virus and uh, we can say that yes it is protected from the viruses because of the network is accessible from many points it can be susceptible to the computer viruses and the virus is illegally introduced code that damages the systems and hence a good network is protected from viruses by hardware and software design significantly for that purpose only and what are type of the connections are there point to point there are two types of the connections the first is the point to point connections in the network if this is the dedicated line link between the two devices the entire capacity of the channel is reserved here it we can say the point to point in microwave communications line of sight is achieved through this microwave communication similarly for the remote control uh, line of sight is needed so that uh, communication can took this point to point communications one device to another device whereas point to multi point uh, multi point connections here it is the main frames and from main frames it is connected to station 1 to station 2 station 3 here it is more than two devices share a single link 
So capacity of the definitely channel is either specially shared, the device can use the link simultaneously and timeshare uses textures, Unix systems, time sharing, time division multiplexing concept is used. Each station allotted a certain amount of the time, full bandwidth utilized by these stations for particular amount of the times. Then, but it is too fast, we are not able to identify it. But here is what we can say that uh, multipoint systems. So let us uh, what we have discussed, let me ask you some questions. Answer these questions. The data communication network criteria are which are what are the criteria for the data communication? Try to answer in the chat box. Second is the performance can be measured in many ways, including which time now? Two times we discussed the first time and this one is the second time. Then third question is the performance of the network depends on on what the performance of the network depends. Try to answer these questions. Software that provides the services affects both the dash 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 and dash 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 of the network links. Try to answer this. Question number five. A dash is illegal introduce the code that damages the system. Yes. Then the next one is the entire capacity of the channel is reserved in in dash more than two devices share a single link. And a higher level security that technique is used for, uh, for the security in higher level. So these are the questions. See from my side I will clear you the answers. The data communication network criteria are performance, reliability and security. Performance can be measured in many ways including transit and response time. The performance of the network depends on the number of users, type of transmission medium, hardware and software. The software that provides these services affects both the speed and the reliability of the network links. A virus is an illegal introduced code that damages the systems and the entire capacity of the channel is reserved in point to point connections and in multi point connections more than two devices share a single link. At the higher level for the security encryption technique is used. So thank you very much for patience listening.